Hey, welcome to my tutorial about uh, version control. We're going to just start out this first lesson just by talking about uh, version control, what it is, what's the value about it, why, why do we want to do version control. And let's just start out very simply. If you keep all your source code on your hard disk, that's great. Now you know it's there. But it's the same as if you keep all your pictures on your hard disk. If somebody steals your machine, if a meteor hits your machine and it dies, your images are gone. All your pictures of your entire life are gone. It's the same problem here with the source code. The source code is probably the most valuable thing as a developer that you bring to a company. That's the source code. So it's really important to take that source code off your local drive and put it somewhere else. And that's one benefit of this. So we take the source code and bring it into another repository that's either in a cloud or on another server. We take the code and we automatically put it somewhere else. And if we get into the use of version control and we make it something we do every day, maybe even every hour, that we make a commit of pushing that code from the local environment to the server, we make the data safe. We keep the source code safe, so that if the machine breaks down, we still have the source code somewhere else. That's a huge value of developing. The next step is that you get a list of every file you changed, who changed it, when was the file changed, and even down to each line, what did you actually change? What was removed, what was added, even a single character, it can see that, the version control. That means that you can actually have a huge list of information telling you exactly what was done to this file since the last time um, that you made a commit. So you have a, a history about every change there is. Not only your change, because that's the next cool thing. It actually also tells you what the other guys changed in the code. Meaning that you can actually see, I made these changes and the other guy made these changes. Okay, let's merge them together, right? So we have a way for us to actually start working on the same files because the version control can try and merge them together. And if it cannot do that, if they fail, then it will actually pop up with what we call a conflict. We'll get back to that later. So you have this repository somewhere that other people can work with together with you, right? That's just a huge benefit of version control. You can also go even further. You can start branching so that you have multiple branches of your software saying in this version we have the newest features, but in this version we just we are ready to make a new release. Whenever somebody calls us, we can just release right away. I'll get back to that as well. But you can start branching software so you can start making like a huge tree of software, and it's really, really powerful if you wanna if you wanna really work with um, version control. Let's just have a look at some of the version controls out there, and I'll just zoom a bit here. Um, this is just from Wikipedia, and here are some of the version controls that has been out there and some of the dates. It's not really that important, I just want to show you there's been a lot of tools out there. In my time I've been working with CVS, I've been working with Subversion, and I've been working with Git. And I know a lot of people who've been working with uh, Mercury as well, and there are a lot of other uh, version control tools out there. So they're all good tools. They're all good tools. They're just different. So the one we will focus on is Git. Git is very close to SVN, but it has a few things that I feel are better than SVN. We'll get into those as well as we move along. So now you know what the course is going to be about. We're going to learn just the basic of Git first, and then we'll start advancing into more and more complex things like branching and stuff like that. So we'll make this tutorial just continue until you guys feel safe using Git. See you in the next lessons.